I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson Antique Furniture Restoration in Gore, Maine. This is a really nice set of Hans Wegner Model W2 chairs. Uh, the customer has six of them. We only have four here in the shop now. Her parents bought these in the early 1950s. They're in 100% original condition. They need to be re-glued, which is why they're here. Uh, I'll do that. I'm also going to restore the finish somewhat with some oil and wax and also uh, attempt to restore these leather seats. We want to save these seats, but they don't come off of here. The, the, the seat frame appears to be structural. I can, I can see uh, definitely a tenon in here, from this piece into here. I'm a little bit unsure what's going on, but I think what I'll do, I'm going to start by loosening the cambric and then the leather, and then see what I've got here. Um, boy, I was so intent on seeing if I could get this apart. I didn't mark anything yet, so uh, now's the time to do that. Yeah, I thought I felt some looseness there. This is starting to come apart. So this back assembly doesn't seem to have any movement in it. I see maybe a little movement here in the crest rail. I might just give it a few sharp wax to see if it'll loosen up a little bit. Sometimes on chairs much older than this, they seem tight, but one or two sharp kind of wax can shock the joint loose. I'm going to do this here just to, to see. I'm not going to try too hard. No, this seems really solid, so I think I'm good. I'm going to now uh, clean all these glue joints, the tenons and the mortises, and um, glue the chair back together.
Okay, these have dried overnight. Next step is to uh, restaple the leather covering. And I, actually, before I staple the material, this piece of plywood on the bottom uh, needs to be nailed down. Okay, so now I'm going to wash the chair. Uh, I want to give it a real gentle wash. I'm going to use some uh, oil soap and a uh, gray scrubbing pad. With the, I mixed up some fresh oil soap and I'm going to uh, clean the seats. I don't want to get them the seat real wet, so I'm just squeezing this out. All right, now I'm going to let this uh, dry for a few hours and then I'll tackle the seat. So this is dried. I'm going to take some black dye stain and uh, put it on a rag and pat it over these areas where there's uh, raw leather shown. Okay, this is a fast drying stain, like 45 minutes, but I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours. Okay, I think the stain is dried. And now I'm going to take a paper towel and some alcohol and just uh, pat off any excess. All right, I've let this dry overnight. I don't think I needed to let it dry overnight, but it did. I'm going to take a clean paper towel and just wipe this. I want to know if there's any stain or anything left on here, but that looks nice and clean. And so now I'm going to use this leather conditioner on it. You know, I showed these to an upholsterer. He told me that this leather is actually uh, painted, which seems kind of strange. I'm not sure, though, how much good the conditioner will do on a painted surface, but I think it'll help. And at the very most, I'm going to work it down well into all these cracks and, you know, try to get some well, I will get some conditioner into that. I'm really surprised that the uh, rag with the conditioner is picking up this black. I don't know if it's, especially after I went over it with alcohol and let it dry overnight and a dry rag. I'm not too concerned about it. It could be black from the black paint that's on here. But the conditioner looks good. The directions say to let dry for a few minutes. I'll let it dry longer than that, an hour or something. And then we'll uh, start on the wood. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do now, as far as the wood is concerned, is I'm going to sand it with some just some 220 paper. And really lightly, just, just sort of going over it. It feels really smooth, but this will make it a little smoother looking if there's anything else that I need to do. I don't think so. Now I'm going to use my, uh, my tongue oil varnish. I have another jar here from the last time I used it. And I'm going to apply it with a uh, some 40 steel wool and then pat it off.
All right, now I've gone over the whole chair. I'm going to make my rag into a pad and just kind of pad. pad this off. I don't want to wipe it all the way off, but I want to just pad it. This coat looks good. I'm just going to let it dry overnight and tomorrow uh, decide if it needs another coat or not. It, it may or may not. I'll find out tomorrow. Boy, it feels great, but uh, the crest rail's a little dull. Uh, actually, parts of it have a nice sheen, other parts it's, uh, it's really soaked in. I definitely need to uh, pat on another coat. The uh, end grain on the top of these legs is really soaking it in, so I'm actually going to brush a little bit on those just to help it along. I'll let that coat dry overnight. These have soaked it up so much, uh, and I've missed a few spots here and there with the rag, that I'm going to brush on this coat, and then maybe tomorrow I'll rub it down just with steel wool and wax. Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, I've let these chairs dry for actually three days, but the coat went down really well. They certainly have enough finish on them now. In fact, they're, they're too shiny looking. It makes it look like there's a thick finish on it. Uh, but what I've got to do is cut down this sheen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this uh, sanding lightly with 320 gold paper and then uh, rubbing it down with a maroon pad. So what I'm doing is rubbing it with this maroon pad until it looks nice and even, until most of the shininess and the grain is gone. Not all of it because it's open grain. This is good. And then I'm going to take this uh, shop towel and just buff it out. Well, it certainly feels uh, smooth. Uh, I'm going to take my uh, beeswax polish <coughs> rag and just uh, go over just this crest rail. I want to see what it looks like when it's waxed. All right, now I'll uh, use a paper towel. But I think that looks uh, good. I think it looks just uh, the way we want it to look. Well, this looks so good, I'm just going to uh, proceed now with the rest of the chair. Alright, so I'll let this dry, uh, this beeswax polish, I'll let this dry for, uh, you know, a half hour or so, and then I'll uh, buff this out. So there we have it. These are uh, Hans Wegner Model W2 chairs. These are four of a set of six. Uh, these chairs were purchased in the mid-50s by the owner's parents. They were, came in in 100% uh, original condition. Uh, but they desperately needed to be re-glued and so the only thing that's new on them now, we have new glue and a new coat of oil. I think they look pretty good.